Hey you guys, good afternoon. Listen, I just want to come on real fast and just begin to uh, talk about something just briefly um, about intercession and what we stumbled on um, this morning. Listen, the 6 a.m. prayer uh, has been phenomenal. And so uh, me and a group of people have just been gathering on Facebook Live uh, where we've been praying. Um, this whole month we've been praying for the anointing to just hit our life. Uh, and so this morning we was praying for the anointing for intercession and for prayer. And so let's talk about this word intercession just briefly. Uh, one of the uh, Hebrew words, um, Hebrew meanings for uh, intercession, it comes from um, that Hebrew word pagah, which is found also in uh, the key Hebrew key 6293. And it means to entreat, to fall upon. It means to uh, uh, to lay upon. It means to light. It means to meet or to reach. And so one of the things God began to show us just in the realm of intercession, how intercession unlocks the future for a individual or even specifically for families. And so in Genesis chapter 28, again, one of the meanings for uh, intercession means to light upon it. We're going to look at how God began to open up um, Jacob's future. Amen. So in Genesis chapter 28, verses 10, it says this Genesis chapter um, 28, verse 10, it says in Jacob. Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And verse 11 said, and he lied it upon a certain place. Again, that word lied it, it means intercession. It's the same meaning for intercession. And so it says he lied it upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took off the stones of that place and put uh, them for his pillars and laid down in that place to sleep. Verse 12 says, and he dreamed and behold, a ladder set on the earth and at the top of it reached to heaven and behold, the angels of God ascended and descended on it. Now listen what happens. Verse 13, verse 13, it says this, and behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father. And God of Isaac, and the land whereunto thou liest to thee, will I give it into thy seas. Verse 14, and the seas shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad of the west and of the east, and to the north and to the south. And in thee and in thy seas shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Listen, there is a realm of intercession that will begin to unlock the future for you. That will begin to unlock destinies. And it will cause you to really see what God is saying for for you and for your family. And I believe what God is beginning to do in the realm of intercession is beginning to unlock people's future. Listen, I don't care what it looked like. I don't care what it feel like. I don't even care what you're going through. As you begin to tap into a realm of intercession, that God will begin to light upon a specific place in your life to unlock the future. And he'll bring you into a realm just like he did for Jacob. God catapulted Jacob into a dream world that opened up his future. God began to speak prophetically unto Jacob. He brought identity to Jacob. He also revealed himself unto Jacob. And then he began to speak to Jacob's future, his lineages, his, his inheritance. I believe we're in a season where God is going to begin to unlock people's future by ways of intercession and help them understand who God is and also help unlock their future. But there's going to be a direct blessing that hit your next generation. I loose that grace of intercession over your life today. Amen. Amen.